Hi, Claire. I was thinking of having a lunch meeting this weekend. You can make it, right? Our diner is busy on weekends, so I don't think I can make it. Are you trying to avoid it again? I'm not trying to avoid it. I'm really just busy and can't participate. Of course I want to get along with other mom friends. I know you don't actually think so. It's just that you feel embarrassed about being financially constrained and you don't really want to participate. Are you talking about me when you say financially constrained? Who else? This isn't a group chat. We're the only ones in this chat, Claire. We're not actually struggling as much as you seem to think, you know? <laughs> it's not easy to survive just managing such a small diner, is it? That's not true at all. It's true that our diner is small, but it's always busy and we've been making a profit all along. Even if you're making a profit, it's still nothing considering how small your business is. You always dress like you're struggling financially. And I even saw you eating dinner at a convenience store once. As for my clothing, I dress comfortably for work-related reasons. When there's a special event, I dress up appropriately. Yeah, but I doubt that you have any designer clothes in your closet. Just because I ate at a convenience store doesn't mean I'm poor, and I don't think it's any of your business where I eat. I find it amusing to watch people from different social class than myself. If you look down on people with such prejudice, you'll eventually face consequences. What? You a poor person dare to threaten me? First of all, we're not poor. If you keep looking down on me like that, I will stop being your friend. No, you can't. Why not? Because the boss mom's orders are absolute. You must attend the lunch meeting this weekend. No excuses. But I said I can't because our diner is busy. If you refuse to attend, I will tell my son to exclude your son from his group. Wait, children have nothing to do with this. If you don't want to involve your precious child, then you must attend the lunch meeting. Fine. Can I just show up for 30 minutes? Fine. I guess I can let you off the hook with that. Thank you. By the way, there's something I wanted to say. What is it? The upcoming lunch meeting will be at a high-end Japanese diner, so dress appropriately. Don't come in your usual shabby poor clothes. Understood. But do you even have stylish clothes? If you come in a no-name brand, tacky outfit, I'll send you home immediately. Then I'll wear clothes from a brand you're familiar with. Wow, so even you have stylish clothes. I hope you didn't borrow money to buy them. I didn't borrow any money. Alright then. See you on the day of the meeting. I won't forgive you if you're late. Claire, are you okay? Wow, how dare you send me a message like this? I didn't think you were such an uncivilized person. It's your fault for trying to leave so arrogantly. I told you beforehand that I could only attend for 30 minutes because I'm busy with work. You said that, but me, the boss mom, told you to stay until the end. So it's only natural to obey orders, right? Who do you think you are? I'm the boss mom and I... And you insulted me from the start of the lunch meeting and it made me feel really uncomfortable. But everything I said was true, right? Everyone felt sorry for you and sympathized with you. 
I don't dig through trash for food because I'm starving. And I've never had to endure a week of not eating because I was trying to be frugal. What? Are you angry? Of course I am. After all that you did, I feel absolutely terrible right now. Don't get so angry just because I splashed water on your face. I guess jokes don't work on poor people after all. I can't wait to see your cheap diner go out of business. My husband said he'll shut down your husband's company. What? What's that low-life bastard saying? If you can shut it down, go right ahead. What can a poor person like him do? You don't know anything about your husband's company, do you? Of course I do. He's the president of a fairly well-known food company around here. I'm the president's wife, you know. Impressive, right? So all you know is your husband's title. Haven't you been told anything about his job responsibilities or his connections? I know my husband earns a lot of money. He generates nearly one million dollars in profit annually. Thanks to him, I get to live a lavish lifestyle. While well, you, being a nobody, probably wouldn't understand my feelings. I have more than enough money, so if you want, I can give you some. It's better not to make statements that would anger my husband any further. When it comes to me, my husband doesn't show any mercy. I couldn't care less if your husband gets angry or not. It's like, yeah, go ahead and throw a tantrum. I'm not afraid of your husband even if he gets mad at me. Is that so? You really don't care what happens? By the way, what does your husband do for a living? It seems like he doesn't work at the diner with you. Maybe he's doing part-time work as a garbage collector because the earnings from the diner aren't enough? Or maybe he's working as a garbage cleaner? My husband is also a company president. <laughs> You must be joking. No, it's the truth. He hardly shows up at the diner because he's too busy with his job as a president. Even if he's a president, it's probably just a small, struggling company with a few employees, right? Please don't make baseless assumptions. Since you seem to be clueless, I'll tell you. Go ahead then. It's probably a company I've never heard of anyway. It's A Company. Wait, A Company, the mega corporation that owns multiple diner chains? Yes, that's right. It seems like your husband's company has had long-standing business dealings with A Company as well. Well, those dealings will probably come to an end soon. Yeah, sure. Uh-huh. You're joking about your husband being a president, right? Why don't you ask your husband and find out? I've met your husband too, so if you mention my name, he'll know right away. I'll go ask him. So, it is true that your husband is the president? Yes, that's what I said. My husband said he's going to your husband's office from now on. It looks like you should be prepared for what's coming. Wait a minute, what is he planning to do? I think he's going to talk about canceling the deal. Our company's dealings with your husband's company account for nearly 80% of your business, so if this deal is canceled, it'll be a big problem. Then why not just do business with other companies on better terms? I don't think there are many companies that can offer better conditions than my husband's company. Besides, my husband's company is well known in the industry, so if word gets out that the deal was cancelled, other companies may not want to do business with you either. Is that how it works? Trust is important in business dealings. 
So does that mean that my husband's company might go under if things go wrong? That's a high possibility, I think. No way. If the company goes under, I'll lose my title as the president's wife. Is that your biggest concern? And I also have trouble making a living. But who do you think is responsible for this situation? It's my fault. I apologize for spilling water on you. I'll also compensate for the clothes. I'm okay, don't worry about me. I didn't get hurt, and my clothes only got a little wet, so I think the stains can be removed with dry cleaning. Then, how much will it take for you to forgive me? Are you really trying to solve this with money? Then what should I do? I think anything you do will be in vain. Whether or not to continue the deal is up to my husband to decide, and there's nothing I can do about it. Then can you at least tell your husband to continue the deal with us? I won't insult you calling you poor or splash water on you again. And of course, I won't force you to join lunch meetings either. Please, rest assured, I have no intention of attending lunch meetings anymore. I'm actually planning to cut ties with you after this. But I'm the boss mom. If you cut ties with me, you'll have to cut ties with other mom friends too. Is that okay? I'll deal with that when the time comes. I can live on my own just fine. Don't say such sad things. If I had known that your husband was such an important business partner for us, I wouldn't have done those things to you. I think you're also responsible for pretending to be poor. It's wrong to pour water on anyone, regardless of who they are. It's also not good to judge and look down on others based on appearances without knowing much about their family situation or other circumstances. I do feel bad, of course. And I didn't pretend to be poor. You just assumed I was poor because I run a small diner. But why are you running a diner when your husband is the president? You should be able to live off of that alone, right? I've always dreamed of owning a diner since I was young. So I talked to my husband about whether I could start my own diner and I got his permission to do so. I have been working in the culinary field during my single day, so I had no problem with cooking. But I was a novice when it came to running a business, so I relied on my husband's help to make my diner successful so far. I see. So your husband's support has played a big role in where you are now. Yes, that's right. I'm really grateful to my husband. Hold on a sec. I just received an angry message from my husband. Is it about the future business deal? He's blaming me for potentially losing the contract with a company. He's asking me how I'm going to fix it. It's understandable for him to be angry. Your actions may lead to the company going bankrupt. Please, I'll do anything. Just don't cancel the contract. If you do, other employees might hold it against me. I'm not an employee of a company, so I don't have the authority to decide whether to cancel the contract or not. We'll have to wait for the results of the discussions between our husbands. But... Please, can you pretend the contract cancellation never happened? I told you before, I can't do that even if you asked me. It's a decision made by my husband. And on top of that, my husband has started talking about divorce. How is divorce related to the cancellation of the contract, though? 
Aren't those two separate issues? I think my husband is getting angry and talking about divorce because of me and the cancellation of the contract. Is that so? Whether to divorce or not is an important issue and maybe your husband has been thinking about it even before this incident. That's not possible. We were getting along well until now. In any case, it's strange for me to interfere in the relationship between husband and wife, so please discuss and decide on your own. Don't say that. I want you to convince my husband to stop the divorce too. What's in it for me for doing that? Well, probably nothing. I'm not so generous as to help someone who has looked down on me. Whether you get divorced or not, it's none of my business and I have no intention of helping you. But... It's decided. My husband and I are getting a divorce. He told me to move out within a week. I see. It might not be easy living alone, so good luck to you. Well then... Wait a minute! Don't you have anything else to say? Are you telling me to apologize or something? I didn't say that. I just thought you might show some sympathy. There's no reason to sympathize with you. You planted all the seeds yourself. But isn't canceling the contract too harsh just because I spilled water? My husband's company has many other employees and if the contract is canceled, they will be affected too. I can't believe even someone like you would consider other people's lives. What's with the tone? Don't talk about me as if I'm an unfeeling person. I'm sorry. I was just surprised. But I think your husband's company will be fine. What do you mean? My husband has decided to continue doing business with your husband's company. Really? But didn't you say it was cancelled before? After that, your husband came to my husband's office multiple times and apologized. My husband was moved by his sincerity and decided to continue the business relationship on certain conditions. Conditions? It seems that one of the conditions is to keep you away from me. So you're saying that my husband decided to divorce me for the sake of the company's survival? I think that's what it means. My husband didn't explicitly ask for a divorce, but it seems like your husband wanted to completely sever ties with you. That means it's your husband's fault. Please stop blaming others like that. Weren't you doing whatever you wanted, even at home? That's not true. I was doing what I had to do. But I often saw your husband taking care of your son on weekends, and it seemed like you were neglecting household chores and childcare. Your son was even saying at school that you didn't cook for him. And he said that your husband is better at cleaning, so he does it. What? My son said that at school? And you always dressed in expensive brand clothes, so you must have been freely spending your husband's salary. Well, we're married, so isn't it allowed for a wife to use her husband's salary as she pleases? Even so, there should be limits, don't you think? But if we divorce, how am I supposed to live? My husband has custody of our son, and I've been asked to pay monthly child support. In that case, you'll have to work and earn a living. But I've been a housewife since we got married. It's impossible for me to learn a job and work now. Even if you think it's impossible, you have no choice but to do it. Oh, I just had a good idea. I have a feeling that your good idea might not be so good. How about I work at your diner? Unfortunately, we're not hiring, so you can't. Don't say that. How about hiring me at an hourly wage of $50? There's no way I could afford to pay you $50 an hour. Besides, I don't even pay that much to other employees. But we're mom friends, right? Can't you at least do me a favor? 
What are you talking about? I never considered you a friend to begin with. I have no intention of hiring you, and I don't plan on keeping in touch with you from now on. Wait a minute. Are you saying you're going to block me? Yes. Until now, I kept you around because of our kids, but if you're getting a divorce, there's no need for us to have any relationship. It doesn't seem like being involved with you would be a good thing, so I'm going to block you. Please don't block me. I'm already being kept at a distance by other mom friends, and if you abandon me too, I'll have no one on my side. It's your own fault. You've treated mom friends like slaves. You need to change your behavior so that you don't end up in the same situation again. Don't say such sad things. Please, just don't block me. Well then, best of luck to you. Goodbye. After that, I immediately blocked Kelly. As promised, she moved out of the house when her divorce was finalized. She started living in an apartment and started working part-time as she needed to earn child support and living expenses. She seemed to be scolded by the store manager almost every day as she had never worked before. By the way, it seems that her ex-husband's company continues to do business with my husband and their relationship is better than before. Her son is taken care of by her ex-husband's parents, so he's able to spend time without feeling lonely. I don't really care about Kelly, but I'm relieved that her son is able to live comfortably. <laughs>